Inter. Benetti uh, joins us now. What a week it's been for Inter. You beat the league leaders and then you drop points late on in the game to a team that's sitting in 15th place. Yeah, and we were praising Inter so much because of their defensive performance against Napoli, how organized they look. Today was very different. It was a sloppy game overall. I thought it was a mess. Even the referee had a bit of a mess himself. But Romelu Lukaku is the player I wanted to talk about, right? Because he comes off the bench and I thought I saw some positive signs in that game against Napoli, the way that he was moving. But then today, he has either these amazing highs or these devastating lows. And there's no middle ground. It's either he's world class or he's awful. Like, you can't just get a 6 out of 10, right? It, there's no gray area with him. It's either one side or the other. But my goodness, when he's poor, it is mm -hmm. like different level. Nothing works for him. He can't latch onto a ball. Rampoline and we're talking simple, simple, simple controls, <laughs> yeah. Mike. Like a simple control for a player of that quality. It, it, it makes no sense to me. Can he be the guy moving forward then for Inter if they want to be a serious contender if he is so inconsistent, Grella? I mean, when he was at Inter under Conte, they he, won a was, he, was, uh, the, he was the best player in Serie A by far. He yeah. was impossible to mark. He can score goals from everywhere. And this season, obviously the injury, but you see him also at the World Cup. He's he's so inconsistent. So is it mental though? You don't know which guy you're gonna get. Because what? But what? But what injury a, prevents you, you from okay, controlling well, he, a ball like he that? He said, and I know that's true. But <laughs> but he's it, when you're not feeling good, then a lot of things start to go bad. That's how I see it. You know, he said that his tendon literally broke, and they just covered it up. Kind of, they didn't say how serious his injury was. And he says going to the World Cup, he he trained like three or four times, like. Those things obviously don't help. I'm not making an excuse for him. Do you him. see him getting back to the Lukaku that we know? I want to believe that, yes, I will see him get to that point. And I do believe he has the qualities to do well in Serie A and to do well in the system that Inzaghi has. When he's with Conte, okay, different, different case. He was an incredible player. That's also because he was at the center of the entire play. It's different. It's a different inter in the way that they play. He still can make his mark. And I think when he does get back to being actually healthy and fully fit and ready, I think that he could still be an important player for Inter and make the difference. Still yet to be seen, isn't it? We've seen it in glimpses. Let's just take